Hi guys, this is Anna here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about news and about the sunscreen that is just shaken the skincare world recently. It's Burrito brand and I will be talking about my experience with Burrito Comfy Water Sunblock and also I will give you my two recommendations on the sunscreen that I use. They are also from Korea so keep watching and if you're new to my channel welcome. Uh, please don't forget to give a like to this video and subscribe if you want and if you think it like it's your thing because I'm talking about skincare makeup and unboxing so if you think it's your thing please welcome and let's be friends the news that shaken the world is that burrito was tested in two labs one was from poland and another was from germany and it claimed that it has spf 20 instead of spf 50 the sunscreen that was tested was burrito centella green level uh, sun sunscreen comfy water sunblock was not tested but at the moment Burrito says that they are suspending the production and they will do their own research. So what happened is that Claire's also want to suspend production and they say that they are going to be testing their sunscreens and they also claim that uh, if their sunscreens are tested outside of Korea they might have different results and why Claire's is also suspending the production of the sunscreens because Porito and Claire's sunscreen they made at the same factory their sunscreens were formulated and produced under Korean FDA methods and regulations so which is high standard so we will just see uh, how all this news will go but at the moment I will still review the comfy water sunblock I mean it's not a bad uh, deal still to use the sunscreen if you live like in the climate which is not hot and not dry and not sunny for example most countries right now have winter it's not a bad idea to use the sunscreen because it's better than just use nothing so before i start reviewing the comfy water sunblock i will start off that my skin is a combination skin and it gets oily throughout the day and it's dry on the cheeks and I am right now at late 20s. I live in California, which is dry and sunny most of the year, only a few days, maybe like, you know, before Christmas, uh, that's when we have cloudy days. I like going outdoors and play with kids and go on the bike. So I need very good sun protection. And why I chose the comfy water sunblock because my skin is combination like I said and I cannot go with heavy moisturizers during the day and I like to use emulsions so that's why I thought that the texture of the sunscreen will be good for me because it's very lightweight and it's non crazy and doesn't give you stuffiness and stickiness so this sunscreen I bought at uh, Amazon it was pretty official seller so if you're not sure about any of the products that come from Purito on Amazon you should ask them on their Instagram page and they will approve if it's really uh, their uh, store price was about $15 and the volume let me see it's 60 milliliters which is two fluid ounces and it also comes uh, like in the box. The tube is uh, sometimes people say that it's not uh, filled until the top, like very top. I think uh, that's not a problem because if I put it on the weight, it's still the same amount of the sunscreen. Yeah, it looks like as if it's half full, but the thing is that uh, the manufacturer cannot feel it until the top because during the transportation it might leak you know it's transported uh, with airplanes and stuff uh, like it's not transported on the land so that's why it will leak if it's uh, completely full until the top what I like about the sunscreen is that it's unscented version and it gives minimal white cast, it's lightweight texture, but more is way to come after the application. Because the water uh, comfy sunblock because like I said it's very lightweight and it's physical sunscreen because physical sunscreen they tend to be less irritating to the sensitive skin and my skin is sensitive so that's why I chose uh, physical sunscreen so physical sunscreen 
is reflecting the UV rays from your skin. So basically it has mineral ingredients in it like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So these ingredients, they block in the UV uh, rays from your skin. The experience with this sunscreen was a little bit controversial for me and I think that this sunscreen plays a very tricky game because if you will have lots of layers of the skin care on your skin in the morning this sunscreen is going to peel off like in no time like i'm serious especially if you use antioxidants like vitamin c in serums or creams it's going to peel off for sure but again it might depend on your type of the skin so i tried one day like this i washed my face then i put moisturizer or emulsion and after a few minutes i'm going to put this sunscreen on the top it blends very well i would say it feels like it's very lightweight and in a way it's made your skin so it doesn't feel like it's crazy or stuffy or sticky yeah that's true like what they wrote here on the package that it doesn't give you stickiness and stuffiness but then right now we are wearing face mask right and sometime it can be long time when you wear it and it tend to dry very fast under your face mask but okay if you forget about face mask and let's say we just go outdoor we don't have to wear a face mask because if there, there are no people around you and it still dries out like again it's fine on my forehead but on the skin which is here on the cheeks it dries out like so bad and i think i even destroyed my skin after one month of using this one and i'm not changing my experience right now because uh, you know it was claimed that it's not good and it has lower spf level i stopped using the sunscreen like a month ago and i'm not happy with it and i believe that oilier types of skin might love this sunscreen but not dry and combos no matter what influencers will say that it's lightweight and etc is just drying out so you might be asking so what should i use i love purita so much i love purita comfy sunscreen so much what should i use right now so i have a two recommendation for you which i found out recently and sometimes i'm switching them uh every day well it depends if i'm just going out outside on the bike and you know i'm not going to be between people i will choose the one that it gives me a little of white cast this one is isn't hyaluronic acid perfect sunblock and it's similar to Purito actually it has similar texture like it's very uh, light but it's not milky one and runny one and it's very moisturizing it gives you minimal white cast because it's physical sunblock and it has titanium dioxide in the ingredient list and it's also very moisturizing because it contains hyaluronic acid I personally love this and I bought it from Jules and if you want to see my Jules haul 2020 you can see uh, my video and I will leave link in the description down below I, I will leave link right here this one is chemical sunscreen which I was a little bit skeptical about because this sunscreen cost uh, I think like eight dollars and I also bought it at Joel's you can check my haul in link to the video I will leave down below and it's B lab I'm sorry just sun cream and it has three filters for sunscreen if I'm not mistaken and it's also very moisturizing and it also has entire aging effect effect but the texture is like thick cream but it doesn't give me creasiness or shininess or anything like that and i actually love this one and it doesn't give you a white cast because it's chemical sunscreen and it doesn't have mineral content in it so this one like cheaper version and if you don't want to have white cast and another one if you don't mind to have minimal white cast if you have pale skin i think for brown skin tones it wouldn't be good but for pale skin it's just fine 
I guess this is the end of my review, so I hope you like my video. If you have any good recommendation of the sunscreen, you can leave uh, your comments and in under this video. So I hope uh, I will see you in my next videos. And don't forget to click on the like and subscription button if you like it. And I'm here talking about skincare, makeup and unboxing. So if you think it's your thing, please don't hesitate to join. And I see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.